Plain Access Solutions. Hi, I'm Glenna Plain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode of Plain Access Solutions, I'm going to show you why it is important for an IT guy or an IT support guy to have a small and portable multimeter that they can bring with them anytime and anywhere. This is an XB-866 digital multimeter. It is made to fit in your pocket or in your small bag. If it's just your first time to use this device, I'm encouraging you to read the manual because there are lots of restrictions that are written in there to help you avoid um, mishandling this device and breaking it. So for example, it says here that the maximum voltage that you can apply this thing or you can test with this multimeter is 600 volts and you cannot go over that. To operate this device is pretty simple. On both sides of the knob there is an off option to turn this off and the other switches are in between those two offs. It's a bit difficult to remove the probes from its uh, compartment but once you get the hang of it it's, uh, it's gonna be easier starting from the left we have the AC next to it is the DC voltage the ohms the diode mode and this continuity mode and you use the select button to switch in between the diode mode or the continuity mode The next is for micro amperes and the last one is for the milliamps. <clears throat> the real reason as to why I bought this is because I always have to test for power outlets or power extension cords. Sometimes when I have to fix or troubleshoot PCs, 50% uh, or 40% of the problem is actually from faulty extension cords and the power outlets don't have power at all. So from here I can see that it's showing us 233 volts and when I'm testing the other pin it's also giving us 233 volts. So this extension cord is still okay even though it's old another reason why i bought this is for me to test batteries whether it's a um, toy batteries or watch batteries or computer batteries this is kind of um, useful and i don't have to like guess uh, whether the batteries are still okay or not so if i switch this multimeter into dc voltage mode and it's showing as 1.6 therefore this battery is still okay another reason why this thing will really help you guys especially those IT guys who are more on installing um, cameras or network devices those devices are using power adapters and most of the time when a network switch is not working or a router is not working, it's due to a faulty um, power adapter. So if you have this tester, you can easily know whether the culprit is the router itself or the power adapter. Plus you can be able to check the power outlet itself, which is powering the, this power adapter. Now I'm testing the power adapter connector with the probes and it's giving me an over 14 volts reading. Now I will have to confirm this with my other multimeter to make sure that XB-866 is giving us a correct voltage output.
as you can see my other multimeter is showing 14.33 which is pretty close to what the xb-866 value which is over 14 as well let's see if this multimeter can give us a correct reading for resistors Okay, let's switch the multimeter to ohms mode that is uh, on the third. And let's see. It's showing 4.6 4 kilo ohms. Now if we read the band, it has the yellow the blue, the red, and the gold colors. So that's 4.6 um, kilo ohms. Now let's try and test for a 7805 transistor. 7805 transistors are mini step-down transformers in which they convert 12 volts down to 5 volts. For this demo, I'm going to use my Kai C 1505TD to supply 12 volts to the uh, 7805 transistor. I'm going to use this alligator clip to latch it on the transistor. I'm also using my Proskit SN-390 adjustable clamp holder to hold down the transistor while I'm connecting it to the power supply. I selected the DC voltage mode and now it's giving me 4.88 value, which is okay if you want to supply a device that uses a 5 volt power. Now let's find out if this is also good for testing SMD components in a logic board. For this demo, I'm going to use the continuity mode. And there you go, we're only hearing beeps on one side of each capacitors. These caps are not shorted. Also, I'm going to try if we can read values of resistors in a logic board using this tiny multimeter. Now I'm testing the resistor that is attached to the logic board and it's showing us the correct value which is 24.1 kilo ohms to be exact. Let's have a look at the back side and open the battery compartment, see what kind of batteries are installed in this multimeter. We're using AAA batteries, two of them actually, and there is this glass, um, glass type fuse which is there to protect the multimeter in the microamperes mode or in the milliamperes mode. Also, one more thing worth noting for is that the wires of the probes ran into a small hole before they were soldered onto the logic board. This gives an extra protection for the probes, so the chance of pulling out the probes from the logic board accidentally will be prevented. So there you go guys, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to my channel, like and comment and share. Thank you for watching, bye.